my good and honourable friend, the member for Birkenhead, for securing this important debate, which is particularly timely given the extra £16 billion of defence funding which was announced in last week's spending review. Defence contracts represent an excellent opportunity for the UK economy for job creation and retention in Britain. It's vital, and I'm, I'm addressing these remarks to the Minister in particular, that the defence projects have a, dom have a domestic focus with a particular emphasis on maintaining jobs and the skills base here in the UK. Unite members at the Rolls-Royce site in Barnelswick are currently being forced to take industrial action because Rolls-Royce is cutting 350 highly skilled jobs and offshoring them to Singapore. Workers at the plant fear this latest round of job cuts will spend the end of the site itself, as it will likely become unviable as a result. The Barnelswick workforce actually helped to set up the Singapore site, having been given promises that this would never put the home site at risk, a gross betrayal of loyal staff. Unite the Union understands that this work will remain at Barnswick, at this site, at least for now, owing to international traffic in arms regulations. However, the latest job cuts at Barnswick call into question the very viability of the site itself, and the Joint Strike Fight lift fan blade would, uh, would be that this work would be transferred to Singapore. While Singapore is and may be a safe and secure country at this moment, there are concerns that this technology needs to be protected. On the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, striking workers rightly believe it's a disgrace that the Barnswick site is under threat, given its heritage and the important role it's played in supplying the components for, Mer for Merlin engines that kept the Spitfires flying in the Battle of Britain. As part of its long-standing history in supporting British defence, Rolls-Royce has benefited from vast amounts of UK taxpayer money, not only in loans, grants, tax breaks and R&D, but in the form of defence contracts. Rolls-Royce will no doubt be keen to secure a large slice of the £16 billion extra defence uh, uh, funding budget announced by the Chancellor. But, um, uh, Sir Charles and Minister, the situation at Rolls-Royce is one that must be avoided elsewhere. I still hope that the government will intervene with Rolls-Royce. Workers at Barnelswick are highly skilled. These are exactly the kind of jobs at Barnelswick we need to retain, uh, to create and retain in the United Kingdom. Defence projects must have a defence focus. It's vital for the short-term and long-term health of the UK economy. I had the privilege of joining striking workers, Unite Union reps, union officials, and Labour colleagues on a virtual picket line last Friday. Striking workers are still there now as I speak, and I uh, would like to once again express my unwavering solidarity with these workers who are striking to save their jobs, not just for themselves and their families, but for future generations and for their community.